Well, you're probably wondering, what's up with this guy? Well, me too. This is Bill Greer, and he likes to shake it up. Shake it up. Mm -hmm, literally, I mean, because look at these things. These are old-timey shake machines that make shakes and malts. And I mean, these are all antiques, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what's... Uh, got one down there over 100 years old. Oh, my gosh. Dang, man, that's crazy. I didn't know they had electricity. What well, no, they did. Um, but, yeah, why don't you tell us a little bit about these uh, shake machines? Because I don't think I've ever met anyone who tinkers with these things. You fix them, right? Fix them, repair them, try, try to restore them back to their, their original. Try, try to make them last another 75, 80, 100 years. Try to make them keep going. These, yeah, these are tough old machines, I guess. Very. They were they were built to last, built to be worked on. Um, yeah. So, um, what started this whole thing? Well, I've always enjoyed them and me memories. Um, remember having them or seeing them as, as a kid, uh, as a lot of us did. And then uh, we found one in an antique store, and my wife bought it for us uh, for a, for for the house. I uh, found another one a few years later, and uh, it was my son's birthday was coming up, and I thought, great, we, we could get one. It needed some work, but the price was right, and I thought, well, not, let me see if I can put this thing back together. And from there, it just kind of, you get the son one, you got to get the daughter one, and then you get the family, the sisters and the brothers and, and everybody else, and it just kind of kind of exploded from there. Wow, okay. So um, it looks like they've kind of piled up on you. I mean, you got quite a few here. All these yeah. work? Uh, every one of them, every one of them work. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. how did you figure out how to fix them? Just tear them apart? Or? Tear them apart, uh, but I also, there is there is a man in, uh, up in Kansas that uh, sells sells parts, and uh, he and I have developed, become friends and developed a relationship, and, and uh, he kind of mentored me, and if I had questions, I could email him and, and talk to him, and... and uh, he kind of get me through the through the worst of them, yeah. But mostly, mostly just tear them down, and if it doesn't work, you try something different. Wow. Okay. So I guess you're always looking for them for for parts or to put back together. Both, yeah. Mm -hmm. Both, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it takes two or three to make one good one. Yeah. Uh, to you know, and and I'll, I just I like them, and I just don't want to see them go to the landfills. Uh, they they just just memories. They create memories, and and I just want to see them keep going for more generations. Yeah, well, you know, I got a couple of years on me, and I do remember the look of the, these machines, you know, in, in the old soda fountains, things like that, and when I was like four years old or something. Right, right. right. So yeah. I guess most of these, like 40s, 50s, 60s? Or? Yeah, these all, all these up here, uh, these, this is what they call the model uh, 51s. Uh, they were made from 51 to 63. Uh, these are mo probably mostly 40s and 50s. And then these down here at the bottom, um, 20s, 30s, 1920s, 1930s. Wow, those are they, they all look so heavy, heavy duty. Very heavy. They're they're heavy. These here come in at about 18 pounds. Wow. And some of the other ones, the triple heads are about 40. Now, um, you know, I'm I'm thinking maybe. You know, a lot of people do woodworking, things like that. I got a little hobby. How many people fix these? Not many. Uh, not many, at least at least that I know of anyway. Uh, three of us now maybe here in, in the United States. There's a uh, guy up in Canada, I think, that does it. And there might be more out there I just don't know of, but not not a whole lot. I, I get a lot, of, a lot of phone calls from all over the country and emails to, hey, can you fix this or can you restore this? So I guess there's a lot of people out there that have one, and maybe it doesn't work. Yes, they are. There are out there, and and there's they're, they're they're still out there, but a lot of them have been sitting in closets and and garages and basements, and and they just want to make it, make it go again. Yeah. So uh, they'll maybe send them to you, and you got to knock off the cobwebs and see what's rusted. I guess a lot of a lot of spiders, <laughs> uh, one mouse skeleton. <laughs> Well, you never know. I yeah. Guess. Yeah. Um, so what? Yeah, but that's really interesting. So it's do you do you sell these or? I do. Yeah. Um, I've I've get given quite a few away to family and friends or, or people that, that might need one. Uh, we have a we had a family friend that uh, had gotten ill and sick and was actually trying to put on weight weight 
uh, and uh, so uh, they got one and uh, makes them happy and and also does a good thing for them too so yeah but i do do sell them yeah well i imagine you consume what they make what what's your what's your favorite shake or malt mine mine is a uh kind of a dream sickle uh orange vanilla with uh orange soda no milk but orange soda it's like the old push-up i guess a little yeah, bit like yeah, that yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah, I remember those and the flavor. My, wa- my wife's a big chocolate. She's chocolate on chocolate on, on chocolate. <laughs> and, more, and more chocolate if we have it. Me too. Yeah. But I do occasionally like a push-up, you know, a dreamsicle, I guess. Uh-huh. We'll make so, you one. Well, well okay. <laughs> and, and I guess, uh, you know, you can also make malts, right? Mm-hmm. Still have, yeah, still make, still make the malt. Me, some people are, are 100% malt. Not, you know, I want a malt and not a milkshake, and, and some, some people don't like the malt. But uh, yeah, you can make them all too. Yeah, yeah, and a lot, a lot of these, like the older ones, were were basically for malts. Uh, you just weren't strong enough for the ice cream. And then in the f- mid '40s, uh, when the I, when the milkshake kind of came into, somebody said, "Hey, put some ice cream in that malt." Then they had to go to the bigger, the bigger motor, a stronger motor, so that they could churn that ice cream. Well, wow, that's interesting. I guess, uh, how many years you've been tinkering with these now? Three, three and a half, four. Okay, not, yeah. not that long. Not, really. that, not that long, no. Wow. no. Okay. Now, we've had one for, for quite a while, but not really tink- tinkering with them. Yeah, I guess you were just looking at it one day and like, I wonder if I can fix that. Well, we, we yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what, how we kind of got more was we did, uh, you know, there, there's websites out there and things, and uh, for people selling these. We found a man in uh, Lawrence, Kansas, that was selling 25 of them. And so he communicated back and forth, and, and we went up there and bought all 25, hauled them home. Made the bulk purchase. Made the bulk purchase, and, and that's where a lot of these older ones came from. And, and then, uh, so then that was kind of like, now I really got to do it. <laughs> Committed. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So instead, do you ever, instead of one a month. <laughs> You, uh, so do you ever, you know, occasionally show up at a shop in a different state and there's one of the other two guys trying to buy one out from under you? Um, I really haven't, have we showed up? I, not, no, no. Not really? Not, not really, not, not yet. There's just not enough of us out there. So there's no yeah. shake maker wars going on? No. Not no. so much, yeah. No. Although there was somebody for that 25, there was one of the other guys that, that repairs them. Uh, I think he, he wanted, he wanted to bid on them too, but luckily I was the first one in. And, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, uh, I don't know, so are, are you going to like s- try to sell them at a store or something like that? Uh, pro- probably will. And that's why we've kind of got so many. We're trying to build up an inventory to, to maybe do some antique shows here in the Midwest or something. And it, uh, I, it, it's not a. It's not a, it's a hobby. It's not a business. And, but we do got to, you know, pay the, it does take, it does take, parts are very expensive for them and, and they're hard to find. And sometimes, like I said, you got to get, you might have to get three to be able to put one back together to make, to make one keep going. And so you got to buy them. So yeah, I, you know, need to, new cords and new feet and things like that. So yeah, sell a few of them. Yeah. So yeah, you mentioned maybe uh, Canton. Canton here, yeah, yeah, locally here in here in Canton, mm-hmm. uh, Tulsa, Kansas City, yeah. there are different places like that. So you don't really have anything organized yet. No online sales or no, no, no. just just kind of just doing your thing, increasing your stock. That's right. Until you're ready to pounce. That's right. Exactly. Right. Milkshake Willie on Facebook, and we have some on there. If okay. You contact me if you want to buy one or purchase one. Right, awesome. There you go. So there's a little outlet if you guys are really interested in, in one of these things. And yeah, they bring back a lot of memories just looking at them. Exactly. Well, yeah. thanks for all the information. You bet. And good luck with these. And don't thank you. Don't cut yourself or anything. And uh, yeah, yeah, Bill, he's got a whole lot of shaking going on. We'll have more later on KLTV7 News and KLTV.com.